When I finished my residency program, I started looking for a place to practice. I'm from the north, my wife's from the south, and uh, we were looking for some place kind of in between. We visited six or seven places, and Cookville stood out to us in that uh, it's a nice town. It seemed like a, a, a great place to raise a family, and the medical community was very eager to uh, progress and, and to grow. Uh, they just started uh, getting ICU doctors and, and cardiology doctors, and, and it, it seemed like a, a, a great place to, to start and, and build a practice. So oftentimes when I take care of people with back problems, which is uh, the majority of patients I see have either back or neck problems, they ask me, Doc, why, why did this happen to me? And, and we go over the risk factors for uh, uh, disc disease and, and, and many of those risk factors aren't fixable. You're, you're either born with uh, the genes that you inherited from your parents. Uh, uh, but the one thing that is bad for your back and bad for your disc that oftentimes people don't know about is smoking. Um, if you smoke, uh, it chokes off the flow of blood to the, the discs and they tend to degenerate and wear out quicker. Uh, they tend to herniate more and, and people generally have more back pain. So that's one thing that I, I tell my patients if they smoke, if they can quit smoking, uh, then, then oftentimes your backs will feel better.